I, I wanted to ask with all due respect from Mr. Kelly that if it's such a fantastic thing that migrant children and uh, British children or Irish children are mixed, uh, uh, why don't members of parliament send their children to these uh, schools, but instead either send their children to very expensive private schools where there are no migrant children, or in Brussels they send their children to special so-called European school, which is completely uh, isolated from the rest of the world, and all uh, uh, employees and members of European Parliament qualify for sending their children there. Why would members of the European Parliament and the employees of the European Union uh, uh, do not want their children to have all this fun in the world to be mixed? Thank you, Mrs. Morbay. Uh, my colleague, Roberto Mazzola, outlined the position of children in the European Union. Uh, arriving unaccompanied and missing children, which is very tragic. And I think our aim should be simple, treat these children as if they were our own. I think that we should do everything we can to provide them with a home where they're warm and comfortable and a school where they can be educated and reach their potential. I think that's what the people of the European Union want. And indeed, one of the great joys being an MEP is going around to schools in my constituency where I see children from all different nationalities from outside the European Union sitting side by side with children from our own, my own country, integrating properly. Uh, on uh, Monday, I was in the biggest primary school in my area, my, in Killarney, St. Oliver's. There, they were preparing for the Blue Star, and the work done by children from outside the European Union was fantastic. Their knowledge, their pride, and the way they integrated and they were accepted. That's what we need to do, give them a home, Give them an education. Thank you. Uh, yes, I do see the uh, blue card request.